include everything. Alright guys, in the last video, what we did was we set up the HTML, um, just kind of did the bare bones of getting all our buttons set up and a little bit of formatting. In this video, we're going to work a little bit more with the styling aspect so that we, we kind of just have an idea of what we want it to look like and what we want to do. So I'll show you what I did. So basically what the uh, first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and just set a background image. Now uh, if you don't know where to get like high quality images, um, all my background images that you'll ever see I get from a site called unsplash.com. Um, I'm not sponsored or affiliated with them in any way, it's just a um, common resource that I think a lot of people use. So this is a little too big um, because they, it's all free high res images so you can even use it in your portfolio and everything like that. So we're going to go ahead and set the background size here to 100% and then on top of that we don't want it to move around or at least I don't. So I'm going to set the background dash attachment to fixed. Oops. So you see now the background's not moving around. Um, definitely a uh, preference thing. Um, for me, this is what I would prefer. Now, the font's a little hard to see, so we're going to go ahead and set the color here to white. Font's much easier to see now. Um, next thing that I would do is I would change this font. It's very boring. Uh, not the best. So let's take a boring font that I do like. We'll just go ahead and throw it up in here. Normally you would put this in the header. So this font is called Mont, Mont Serot, I believe is how you say it. I got this just from Google's uh, API fonts. And we're just going to set the font dash family here to that. And because it's a font that we're importing, we need to put quotes because it's not built into the browser. And now we have a little bit of a nicer font, in my opinion, anyhow. So it's all coming together piece by piece. Now this um, this start button, we'll, we'll probably contact last. So everything's not looking as nice as we want it to, if you remember everything was kind of centered. So Bootstrap here has a nice class. Uh, and well, this is why we create this bigger outer div. You would probably have this be your container div as well if we were going to set it up to be responsive. Uh, for the sake of this video, we're not really going to do it. It's just a simple application, uh, maybe down the road. But uh, so you'd set a text dash center class. And now everything, there it goes, is now centered. But our buttons aren't in line as we would want them to be. So what can we do about that? Well, we had these all set up as H2s, and by um, all, I mean these buttons. So these H2s, we're going to go ahead and put on that display in line. So each one of those divs, everything should be in line. Now, don't worry about this reset, because this will be hidden eventually. And this start, we need to keep, but it's a little too much on there, like, um, as someone would say, maybe butt to nut. Uh, <laughs> but uh, maybe not the most politically correct thing to say. Uh, or all right, so we'll add a little bit of margin there around it, and now everything's nice and formatted. Um, session time, uh, break time, and this is basically the core bare bones of our CSS and HTML. So in the next video, we'll get started with the session time, and I'll show you how to increment this up and down, and then uh, we'll hide the reset button as well when it loads. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share the video. It helps a ton, guys. And a special thanks to anyone who supports me on Patreon. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my collaboration with Eric Surf 6 going over how to get started coding. And if you're looking for some coding help, go to Code Mentor using the annotation or card. And if you're looking for internships or part-time jobs or full-time jobs as a student or a recent grad, check out wayup.com. See you guys next time.